Hey everybody, when you're working to clean up facial performance capture data, it's really helpful to have this image sequence viewer available so that you can uh, refer to the video that was captured at the same time as the data. Now I have a previous video that shows how to get this set up together and I'll link to that in the description. But the thing that I just wanted to show in this video is how you can improve this cache. So this green line here on the media track is reflecting which frames have been loaded into the system. And and generally, you know, it keeps up, but if I jump around a bit, you know, we're kind of losing performance because we're not using all of the uh, cache space that we might have available. So I just wanted to show how we can address that. And to take care of that, we just go to the edit menu, project settings, and we just need to increase the amount of memory available to the cache. So to do that, I'm just going to scroll down on this left-hand panel until we get down to plugins. And in plugins, I'm looking for image media select that and here's the cache size in gigabytes and there's one gigabyte now and that gives me just a little more than half so if i increase this to two we should be in good shape so i'll double that uh, available cache space uh, close that up and that takes immediate effect and so as i play through this will load in without unloading the previous frames and so now i've got this entire sequence that i can easily scrub through and review my video reference along with the animation so we can clean that up and we'll look at the cleanup process in a little bit more in future videos until next time have fun